So this here, for you people who aren't Apple aficionados, is me turning up the game, first off, and second off, the Apple Laser Writer. For those of you who are completely uninitiated to the Apple fanboyism, this here is a first generation laser printer that was manufactured by a mix of Canon, who made the print engine, and Apple, who basically designed the case and slapped their logo onto it. This is not a high or a low cost laser printer. It was more expensive than the HP LaserJet when it came out, but that's because, if I zoom in there, come on, focus, there we go. It has Apple Talk built into it. And right now, for testing purposes, I have three machines running Apple Talk connected to this machine. And it works. Um, I am, however, missing a couple of things. There is no paper cassette tray here. The trays from the Laser Writer 2 don't fit. It actually needs something smaller, and I'm trying to find one of those. But I'm missing also the eject tray, which clips in here. And the inject tray for manual paper feed over here. But then again, if you go on Google and just like search the Laser Writer and the Laser Writer Plus, um, almost nobody has these trays, which is fun. And I'm right now trying to test this thing to make sure it actually works for something that's coming up. And so far, I've been able to confirm it does kind of sort of work. And the main issue is that the toner cartridge is in here. It's still got an ice green indicator, so it means it's still got some life left in it. But it's at least 20 years old. So, toner cartridges don't like being left for super long periods of time. They get to do really weird things. And this one was being particularly odd. Like, for example, I printed a page and it would do the rolling, ro ghosting thing. Like, it wasn't fusing properly. And so I decided, I took it outside where it's currently dark right now and wiped down the, the drum, brought it back in here, puked up a bunch of toner because, oh god, that was a bad idea, and it kind of sort of printed. But what I want to do here right now is I want to show you how this prints, because if you go on YouTube, as of right now, it seems there's practically nothing about the Laser Writer 1. So let's just get something done. And right now, on the Macintosh Plus, I have Macintosh Plus. So I'm just going to go with one hand here, and if I can find it, file, print, we'll bring up the fancy little tiny um, pre-print control panel. How exactly am I reaching this here? Let's just go over to this SE over here quickly. And if I go to the chooser, because I currently have the laser writer in Apple Talk mode, um, if I specify a laser writer, it'll show up right there. And that's basically what I have the chooser set to on the Mac Plus right now. Including that Mac 512K that's sitting down at the end here as well. Anyways, where were we? Right, so we don't have a paper cassette, so we can't do that. So we'll do manual feed. And let's just do grayscale, see what happens there. Pages, well, there's only one. Now comes the fun part, because I'm going to have to click print. I'm going to have to grab a sheet of paper. And I'm going to have to try and persuade the printer to work without a tray here and feed the paper through. Maybe we'll be lucky and we'll see something that works out. If not, well, I've already done this and I'll show you a poor quality example. Okay, so one, two, three, go. And that's doing that. Printing. Oh, are you going to take the paper? Are you going to take the paper? Come on, take the paper. Oh, come on. No. I felt to try and get the pick. There it goes. Whee! It should come out this side. Absolutely filthy. Oh, well, that's a shame. Did it actually print? Oh, no, it's still waiting. Okay, so. And I know it's still waiting because I can actually hear it like the pitch of the wine in here is changing and the paper light's blinking. A very fast blink, so I want something in the manual feed tray. So I'm going to try it again. I can hear it still wants a sheet, so I'll give it a minute. I'd like to point out this thing here has a meg of RAM built into it. 
It has a Motorola 68000 processor and it has the PostScript uh, printing language built into it. So it was, what, $6,000? Oh, there goes the printer. Come on, take the paper. Take the paper. Take the paper! Like there's this very special fine point here where it wants to take the paper. And it missed it, so the jam light turned on. So I'm gonna have to reset it by opening it, closing it, and oh no, I took the paper. And what's it gonna do here? An eh. attempt was made. Is it gonna try and tell me to print again? Nope, okay, so that came out looking like crap, not a surprise. Anyways, what I was trying to say here is that the toner cartridge is old here and they start to do really weird things with their photo drums and the toner itself begins to harden up and like become solidified blocks. It's no good, so I cleaned the unit in here, kind of like I shook it up, I took it outside, shook it up, cleaned it a bit, wiped it down, put it back in here, hoped for the best, made a hell of a mess. But the first page I put in, now previously, again, it was just, you could barely see what the hell it was doing. But after that first nasty cleanup, ta-da! Now, okay, you can see that the drum is absolutely toast, but look, I see graphics. And, if I rub my hand here, no toner came off. So I can verify, I can send data from a Mac, through Apple Talk, to the printer. The printer, which contains the PostScript language, a meg of RAM, and a Motorola 68000 CPU, and cost $6,000 when new, American roughly, um, is taking that data, it's processing it, it's making the image data, it's got good rollers because it's pulling the paper in, it's got a good corona wire on it, it has a good laser assembly, it has obviously a bad drum, but it also has a good fuser. So everything about the printer that's the hard stuff to service and replace works. It's just a toner cartridge. And yes, thankfully, those cartridges are not that hard to get. I have to open the door here. There we go. Because like I said, while this here is based off of, or this is an Apple product, this does use a Canon print engine. And these cartridges, you can still buy or get remanufactured. So that's it'll be a fun little thing to get into. But what exactly am I doing with this printer? You'll find out eventually. I guarantee you, it's gonna be fun. Till next time.